I want to say something, and it might be a little controversial. We have seen money flowing into the country from citizenship by investment. We have become addicted to it. But we have also created now in our population a similar addiction. You may ask what I mean. Every year it seems the government is engaged in giveaways. And nothing is wrong with that. The government gives a double salary, our public servants work hard. Nothing is wrong with that. But more and more I'm getting, Madam Speaker, that it is not motivating people, it is in fact demotivating them. You know what somebody said to me in the Nevis the other day? Thank you for the double salary. You're glad you get the double salary. But why I get the same money like people who don't come to work? Why I'm getting the same money with people who are always late, absent, don't produce? And so if I am a hard worker, and I know at the end of the year I'm getting a double salary, just like Punsi who don't come to work, and has no interest in work, who stays away as much as she can, who takes the two hours for lunch instead of one, then everybody gets the same double salary. It ends up demotivating those who are committed to the task. And we have spoken about it a lot. Punsi. <laughs> Sorry. Fictitious person. Fictitious, why do you have my name? <laughs> Zook, who don't come to work. <laughs> I apologize. I know. <laughs> no, the, the speaker quite rightly chastised me. Why did Punsi have to be a woman? So I take that. Right? There's, a, there's a fellow in the music called Pucci. Maybe I should use that baby stick. But the point I'm making is. You know what is happening now with things like double salary? People now expect it. From you see September roll around, people start to say, oh, double this year, double, double. People start to spend it on all because it's now become a norm. And I'm not saying that because I begrudge people getting something. I am saying that what we need to do is to reward good performance and not to reward mediocrity. And when you have a one-size-fits-all type of approach, it ends up demotivating people rather than motivating them to do better. We have talked for a long time about pay for performance. They've tried to introduce that in different, I mean, standard in the private sector, but in terms of the public sector space, pay for performance. So if my good friend from number one has some high performing people. People are always going to the mat, making sure the work is done. Why well, they must get the same double salary like somebody who don't like work and who don't come to work? Why? You have some people who earn sick leave more than they earn the job. But they collect. And so I am saying that what we are now doing is rather than using the same CDI and the same proceeds. We are creating out there an expectation in our public that this is the way things are going to go.